Hi and welcome back. In this video, let's continue on working with forms. And in this video, we're going to create our first get response form. So if you're not already on this page, if you're not already on this page, what you can do is you'll just come here and under create, you can click on create form and that's going to land you on this page. So once you get here, we are under list builder wizard. So here you can see that we have different templates. If you want a template, a template that may be geared towards something specific like maybe you have a free course sign up you can just click there and you'll see some of the templates that get response has for you so you can just choose one of these and then you can edit it as much as you want to and if you want a form that is of a different size some are squares some are rectangles and if you want a form that maybe is long you can see you can get a form which is long if you want a form which is wide, maybe you want a, a form that is wide for your top page, you have all that here. You can choose any of these templates and you can use any one of these, right? Maybe you want something you can put on your WordPress footer. This is an example of something that you can put on a footer or you can put it on your web page, right? So let's just choose an example here and I'm going to choose square. Let me choose a square, a template which is square and uh, free course sign up oh yeah sure let's just choose a free course sign up and let me see which example i can use here okay i will choose this example so just click just click to use the template so once you get here you can design your template all right you can design all these fields okay if you just double click on that you can change you can change this so if you want to change the text up there you can just click there and when you see the cursor, you can start editing. You can expand this and you just click on anything and you see you can increase the size of any box inside here and then this one as well just drag it just click on it and drag it and if you want to drag it so that it can be at the middle just let it give you this red line you see that red line that's going to align it in the middle of the entire form and let's do the same for this one we want it to be aligned in the entire form so just find the red line there and that's going to align it for us. This, let's say you want to edit this ones as well. You can increase, you can increase the width. And just use the blue lines to make sure that everything is aligned correctly, okay? You want to make sure that all these elements are correctly aligned and that's very easy to do in get response. You just follow the blue line. So you can see the blue line has connected the two. So maybe I don't want this, okay? So if I don't want this, I can click here to delete it. I want to make this one also to be completely full and I can drag it up. Okay, so I have mail and I have first name. And if you want to add any other field, okay, you see here, if you just click on any of these fields, you see you have an option to add a field. So maybe you want to add the URL. So just drag it in there and you can add it and you'll have that in there. But I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to bring this one up again and I'm going to reduce the height of the form. So you can add a field. You've seen how you can do that. Just drag something in there. And if you want to add any anything from here as well, you can do that. Maybe you want to add an image, right? Maybe it's a big form and you want to add an image. Okay, so if it was a big form, I could I could have 
added the image and I can also just add a, a part of the image like that. Okay, you can just add a part of the image like that. If you want to remove it, just click on it and click on remove. All right, so let's add the image again. So let's say I want to add the image there and I want to push it to the back. I can push it further and when I keep pushing it, you see that it's now, it is now at the very bottom of our form. Okay, so if you want to add an image, you can do that and you can also push it. If you want to bring it to the front, you can do that. You can take it to the back so that it can be at the foreground of your form. You can add any of these other elements, okay? Just play around with them. Maybe you want to add some text under this. You can do that as well. Add a text. Maybe you're telling people to subscribe. You're encouraging them to just to subscribe. You can add a small text there, or you can add it. At the, you can add some terms and conditions down there. And if you want it to link somewhere, just add a link in there. You can add a link. So let's say that's all we want to do for our form. Maybe you want to change other things on your form. So all these elements you can change. If you want to change the label, you can see this. The label for this is email. So if you want to change it, maybe you can say email address. And you can change the position of the label and it will be shown there. If you don't want the label to be shown, you can just click inside and it won't show the label. And the placeholder, this is what you see inside here. So if you want to change the placeholder, you can change that as well. And you can change the placeholder for this one as well, if you want to. All that you will find under layout. Under the layout settings, you can change all those. And you can make a field required or not required. But since email address is the most important thing in GetResponse, email address will have to be required. And then first name, you can choose to make it to make it required or not. I will make it required. And then you can change the overall style of your form. You can change the fonts of anything that you choose. Anything that you choose, you can change its font size. Just select it and then change the font size. If you want to add a text shadow, you can do that. I'm not going to add any text shadow. You can also change the font. If you want to change the font, you can change the font for any text that you have on your form. So these are things that you can test and just play around with. And if you want to add a link on any text, just select the text and then come down here, add, add the URL, okay? Make sure it's something that's got HTTP in it, all right? Make sure that the link that you add has something like that in it. Let's click on it once again and then we'll go back to style. So that's pretty much all you can change on the form and if you click here, any element that you click on you can change the style. So if you want to change the background color, just click on that, come on to style and then the background, you can choose an image or you can use a solid color, okay? All this you can change on your form, all right? 
and this one also if you click on it and you come under style you can change you can change the color of the elements which are inside there so the input color this is a color that that is a color that is seen in there right so if you want to change that color you can do that as well but you're going to use white okay the input color you can add a border to this form if you want to so you can see there are lots of different features here and just feel free to play around with them to see what each and everything does okay so for me i'm going to assume that this is a form that i want to create and i'm just going to go into settings you can also go into settings here and once you go into settings you can change the form name and then you can choose a list so if this is a form for a certain business you can choose this list there and then confirmed opt-in if you want people to confirm before they're actually subscribed into your list you can do that there and you can add to a cycle so once you create autoresponders you can you can add them to a cycle on that autoresponder if you already have autoresponders and you can choose how you want the form to behave once people subscribe if they subscribe do you want them to stay on this page or do you want them to do you want them to go to a custom page you can just add a link in there so you can just add a link in there so when they subscribe they will be taken to this page if you choose custom or you can just choose to stay on page so if someone is already subscribed and they try to subscribe again what do you want them to do what do you want to happen okay do you want to take them to a different link or do you want them to stay on the page so you can choose a custom link maybe a page that tells them that you're already subscribed and then you add the link there so you can also add a recapture to avoid spam so you can track okay if you create custom fields you can track them here so if you want to track you can add a custom value that will be used to track those fields so this will let you know where the sign up came from and you can use this in your get response but we don't want to track with the custom fields so only use this if you know what it does and you can use this to track various forms on your website if you have different forms you can track them just add a custom value here for tracking maybe you can say for wordpress so we leave this ones at default we don't have to change anything and once you make all the changes make sure you click on save and now your form is ready for publishing okay you just click here so I can publish the form. Once you click on publish, you have different options here. You can install the form on your own. Okay. So you can copy this. And let me just add it. Let me paste the link in there. Or you can send it to your web designer. If you have a web designer, you can put the email address there and then send them just write a message here please add this form on my website with all the instructions that you want to add you'll add here and they will receive this message along with the javascript that you've seen here or if you don't have a website you can just come here click on get response will host my form and then you'll copy this link and if you go to a new page and you paste and go you'll see your form is hosted on get response okay so of course you can change the settings of this so that's just an example of how you can create your form so for us we are going to click on i will install the form myself and then i'll copy this and i'm going to use this in the next video to add this form to our wordpress website so i will see you in the next video if this video has been long, I hope it has been extremely helpful and I want you to do everything in one video to help you understand how you can create your get response form. So in the next video, join me to see how you can
embed the form on your WordPress website. I will see you then.